Oh, hello, beautiful friend. Guess where I am? At another state park. And we are gonna go for a little hike. Oh, there's a little frog. Hey, frog. Isn't that so cool? Aw, see, this is what happens when you get out of your comfort zone and you go and travel and stay with people. This is right around the corner from where I'm staying. You get to see all this beautiful stuff. We'll leave the frog alone, but thank you, little frog. You're so adorable. So what I want to talk about today is this idea of fulfilling our purpose, our mission, but doing it in a way that's not going to help us get there. Even the most heart-centered people tend to have this idea that they need to really strive and push and get there and like that there is anywhere to get. The truth <laughs> that I've experienced anyway, of course, there is no one truth. There's truths for everybody. But the truth that I've felt is that the more I strive, the more I have a goal, the more I focus on the results, that is taking me out of the present. It's taking me out of what I have in this very moment, the choices I have right now. And that is hindering all that beautiful, inevitable stuff from coming. My truth is that if when I let go and I just do what I'm inspired to do in the moment, what feels spontaneous for me, just like making this video and going to this park, I hadn't intended on it today, that's when the, the most magical results come. But in order to live a life like this, you have to trust that you have the answers and that they're just waiting for that perfect time, that perfect amount of tension you're placing on yourself, attention, not tension, so that you'll be able to get the message and follow through with it, right? This is so beautiful. I'm so glad you guys are with me here. And this appreciation of beauty, of nature, of where I am, of just being grateful, I swear, helps me make more money than anything I could possibly dream up in a strategy session with a closed heart or a forward-thinking heart, a forward-thinking business plan, right? I was struggling for quite a long time to figure out how I wanted to launch my book. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. The date kept changing and getting pushed back. People who were going to help me dropped out. And I kept wondering, what is going to happen with this? right? It's my book. I can publish it whenever I want, but I'm excited to get it out, right? It's the biggest thing I've ever done. I'm so proud of it. But there was a, a, a slight amount of pushing in that. And when I realized that, I said, okay, it doesn't matter when this gets released. It doesn't matter how it gets released. I'm going to love it, enjoy it, pour myself into what I need to do right now. And let me tell you, I came up with the most amazing <laughs> way to launch this book ever and my intuitive drawings about it are saying that it's just going to be absolutely fantastically successful and lucrative and wealth building and all of that stuff so we're not giving up the results when we give up the focus on them we are seriously taking our brakes off and letting all of that good stuff finally happen it's like when we're worried about what's going to happen or how much money we have or even if we're living day to day on money, there's nothing wrong with that. You are taken care of. You don't have to worry about that. If you can find a way to get the focus back on yourself, your open heart, your gratitude for where you are at this very second, switch around your perception that... I swear it's going to make the hugest breakthrough for you. It's going to take some daily practice, daily alignment, daily remembering. And that's what Sephiris is for. You know, I had a lot of help coming into this groundedness, this um, spiritual center I have. 
I had a mentor that I saw every other week for six years. I've had coaches. I have a lifetime of being psychic and intuitive. I have had um, my guides with me every step of the way since I was young. And I really would love to provide you with all of that through Sephiroth, this membership site. Again, it has all the business training you need, um, more than you need. You'll get to pick and choose what works for you. You might not need to create an evergreen product that makes money while you sleep, but it, that program is in there. Uh, you may not need to create a business at all, but the Soul Centered Business Boot Camp is in there. Everything you need to really align, figure yourself out, and then create from there is in there. I'm very proud of it. I'm very excited about it. I'm probably giving you guys a whiplash with this video, but I want to keep stopping and show you how amazing this is to be working and doing this. And um, yeah, Sephiroth is amazing. I am there. I am completely supportive of you. We can talk daily if you want. If you have wanted to do private coaching with me, this is the time. I cannot believe how affordable this program is. It will not be that affordable for long. In a couple days on October 1st, it is doubling in price and who knows where it's going to go from there. So jump in, you guys. I, I so love, 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 love all of you and I cannot wait to get to know you better and help you succeed in the easiest way possible. Ease is something I know very well. Ease is something that people above me in business have always commented on how easy things are for me. And it's because of this perspective and this connection. So I would love to share that with you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and how amazing this is right here. And it did not give you nausea or whiplash. So um, I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye-bye.